freaking the DJI Osmo Pocket 3. This thing on video is ridiculously awesome. And something I've been testing out lately is photo mode on this thing. The photos look better than I thought they would. Like, way better than I thought they would. I had to stop this video and uh, interrupt this just because, well, I'm back home now and I just got finished working on those images that you just saw and let me explain this really quick. Um, I did not realize that when I set up the Osmo Pocket 3, when you go to the background settings and you're on photo mode, you can click yes, do a DNG, which is the raw file, and a JPEG. So I actually have two versions of each image. Every time you go click, and the little dial goes and says, okay, it's writing. I totally forgot it also does a DNG. A DNG, you can work in Photoshop or any camera raw software and alter it like a regular raw file out of your Fuji, Canon, Nikon, Sony, whatever. Point taken is all those levels come up and I can adjust things. Now, what came out the camera looks great, but what you're looking at is le legit just a couple of tweaks. You know, like the highlights are down, the contrast is up or down. Um, you know, maybe a little focus thingy because it's Photoshop and it gave me the opportunity to do so. So I was like, sure, let's see how this looks. And it was really cool. But all those images are 100% out of my truck window. Okay, let me show you something. This is my camera. Can you see the Osmo? See it? I'm looking, I'm using my Osmo right now. So, this is the camera showing you the Osmo. Anyway, it's not a large device. It's legit the size of my hand. So, it's easy to just use, you know? So, anyway, today was an awesomely beautiful rainy moody dark morning because we have a hurricane out in the gulf it's supposed to hit like tomorrow i have no idea what size strength it's gonna be um doesn't matter it's not worth leaving for all of those images were out of my truck window as i'm driving around slowly and uh that was it man so it made me a dng and a jpeg of each image and instead of trying to mess with the jpeg that you really can't do much with on levels that dng is a raw file ah oh, that's awesome <laughs> that's awesome all right so look i gotta get out of here we're filling up gas cans and my trucks are already filled i have uh dinner for tonight and I got some uh, client work I need to go do. But if you have the uh, DJI Osmo Pocket 3, I'm curious about your experiences with it so far. Do you have any questions? Um, I keep having questions and then I go on YouTube and I find a video and I go on my little device and I fix it. Um, you know, something as simple as the auto ISO, turn it on and off, which was extremely helpful for me in the room yesterday. So the auto exposure, will you know self-adjust according to the the scene of the room so if there's lights on the top and it's dark you can turn that off like a regular manual camera and just tell it nope just shoot at this setting please and it stayed like that little tips like that will just increase your creativity big time and uh make you use your equipment better and more useful you know very cool all right you guys uh see you in the next video <laughs> later. Yeah.